ATA needs to overhaul the aging transportation system, and to do it, the agency will shut down major sections of its rail lines on the weekends. This is a move that will impact thousands of riders, especially people who work Saturdays and Sundays. As Tiffany Chan shows us in Boston, passengers just hope it pays off. Folks over at the MBTA say, look, they know it's going to be annoying shutting down parts of the T, replacing service with shuttle buses, but they say it's going to be necessary to make repairs. It's also going to make that process a lot faster to make the T not only safer, but more reliable. Eugene Reinhardt takes the Orange Line into Boston every day, but his commute, along with hundreds of thousands of others, is about to get a lot more frustrating. I don't have a car or a vehicle, so the train is kind of my only way to get around. The T plans to shut down weekend service to portions of the Orange, Red, and Green Lines this fall. It's definitely going to be difficult. Um, a lot of me and a lot of other students take the, take the T regularly. So it's definitely something that might make it uh, hard to get to class. The head of the T admits the closures are inconvenient for riders, but says it's a way to speed up much needed repairs. Some of the train tracks haven't been replaced for three decades, and it shows. A series of derailments this summer caused serious delays, frustrating commuters who are already dealing with fare hikes. Especially increasing the prices, you think that they make some changes that would help help it run more regularly. Shuttle buses will replace weekend service along the orange, red, and green lines, but riders are already expecting a headache of a commute. Probably takes twice as long to get places. But they say it's worth the wait for a faster, safer tea. And again, the MBTA is not shutting down completely. They are replacing the orange, red, and green lines with shuttle buses. We have all those graphs, information, schedules on our website, cbsboston.com. In Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.